Well, hello. Today I'd like to welcome you to my review, my first impressions, I should say, of the Senator Regent. Now, I recently did a first impression of a Senator President. Uh, now we're doing a Senator Regent. Uh, if you may re recognize that Regent is a, another government type name. So I'm not sure what the meaning is behind this, but I'm very interested in the pen. Senator is one of my, uh, one of those vintage pen makers I've found very interesting. They're still around, they just don't make pens like this anymore. Now the pens that they make tend to be more branded ballpoints where, you know, you're the pharmacy and you want to have pens in your cup for people writing checks. They give away the, your branded logo on them. But this is from a different piece of Senator's history. And I hope someday that Senator will find it to their financial advantage to get back into making some of these quality pens. That said, first impression, we don't, I don't know what I'll think about it. All I know is I have cleaned the pen out, but I've never written with it. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing that struck me when I opened up my package is, wait, what's this? I don't remember ordering a Chinese pen. Um, you might think you're on Chris Rapp's channel. So uh, this is this is where I apparently bought the pen from. They gave me a very nice. Now this is interesting. Looks like a sailor logo. I'd love to know what the Chinese says, and why they have a sailor logo thing. But it's a neat little bookmark, I guess. And we get the Xiaoping Pen Shop. And I was really thinking at this point, what pen is this? And I opened it up. It's a Senator Regent. So I'm assuming this is original packaging. So it must be a German pen sold in China. Has some instructions on filling it. And photographic instructions on filling and cleaning. In a nice presentation case, kind of makes me think 80s, 90s, somewhere in that neighborhood. So let's take a closer look at the pen. We have the word Come on. We have the word senator on the cap. We have a really nice blue finish. Not sure if it's celluloid. We have a green inquinda. And if you see this in my hands, I've been uh, batch filming a bunch of first impressions today. Senator, okay, so this is going to be one of their steel nibs, but I've found a lot of them to be good quality. And clearly it's a piston-filled pen under a blind cap. And I think you can see that the mechanism operates just fine. Uh, I'm suddenly wondering if I picked the right ink, because it's one of those Sailor inks in the goofy bottles. not sure if the nib is going to fit in unless I've already taken the oh I did good I did uh, a lot of these I end up taking the insert out because it makes the pen too sh or the bottle too shallow for most brands of pen I'm not so okay why did I put the blind cap back on I'm not sorry to see these bottles go which apparently they are uh, you're going to get a much less ink with the newer bottles, but this business of turning it on its side just so I can fill a pen won't miss. Okay, my last review apparently bled through the page a little, so I'm going to just start a fresh page. If you saw the 
that last review, which was also a senator. The last one I filmed, I don't know what order I'll upload these. Um, you saw it was a very wet pen. But this is a senator regent with a medium nib. I had to look on the nib there. The ink is Sailor Gentle Sky High. Just an attractive blue. Uh, steel nibs, of course, don't expect much for flex. They can flex, but Senator steel nibs typically do not have flex. And nope, there's no, no flex here. But I think you can see it is a good, stable, reliable writer. Wetness and flow, and definitely has some line variation. Uh, had a sudden panic there where I thought, did I actually start the camcorder? But I did. No trouble keeping up. The smear test. <laughs> nice and wet. And finally, the reverse writing test. I, a surprisingly smooth extra fine. And we'll do the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. No trouble at all there. So on the whole, I am quite pleased with it. Uh, th this show's late stage senator manufacturer of fountain pens was of the same kind of high quality as their earlier fountain pens. Uh, steel nip, but what you gonna do? <laughs> I like this pen a lot. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy trying it out. Um, I always try and do use these pens on different types of paper and different inks and so on before I do a full review. But one thing I always like to do... Okay! So if I want to, I can carry it around with me. I. Uh, but as I was saying, I'll do a full review eventually. I like to get through at least three full fills of ink before reviewing them. Uh, that just gives me a, time, a chance to try it with a variety of inks and on, on, and on a variety of different types of paper. And I look forward to that. I think this will be a good writing companion. No, not exciting. This doesn't blow my socks off. It's just a good, sturdy, reliable pen. And really... That's what you want, right? That's what you want when you're writing. Is it something you just know it's going to work? And that's what this is. So, I want to thank you for watching. And, hey, maybe you could share your senator experience. If you run into any senators in the wild, any modern senators, um, any corrupt senators. <laughs> so, I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.